Today's event has been fabulous. I've had the opportunity to meet both donors, board members, supporters, friends, and it's just an excellent opportunity to celebrate both the past years as well as previous events and successes of the organization. What excites me about this organization is being a facilitator, a catalyst for change, and that consists of providing students who are interested in science, technology, math, and to enable them to not only shorten the digital divide, but also specifically to bring others who may be interested in those such fields. So it's when working with kids and giving them greater opportunities to not only just build generational wealth, but also to, to help each other is very exciting. So what I'd say to get others to get involved would be the following. Number one, make every opportunity to tell other students about this great opportunity. Spreading the word, telling people about the excitement of actually being able to learn about science, experiments, technology, things of that nature. Second would be to also give up your time. There are many volunteer opportunities, or it's events such as this for fundraising, or alternatively, to go and help out at camps, uh, mentorship, things of that nature. And third, certainly, last but not least, would be financial participation. Do what you can to give, give freely, give in accordingly, and give with purpose with the purpose being to further the mission of this organization that consists of not only to diversify the technological field, but also to fill the pipeline of students who are underrepresented in the field of science and technology. My experience at the 2023 annual fundraiser for TSEP has been amazing. This has been a phenomenal third year of this fundraiser and we couldn't ask for more. A great turnout of participants or attendees, great sponsorship, great food, great fellowship, and also great panelists. It was really awesome to have an amazing panel with multiple years of experience and expertise in tech. Just really talk to the audience about how they came to be where they are, some of the hurdles and obstacles that they overcame, and just demystifying or debunking some of the myths about imposter syndrome. I think that a lot of people, I can only speak for myself of course, walked away with a sense of inspiration and motivation about how we can change the barriers and the gaps and inequities in STEM. So this has been awesome. So I'm a little biased about what excites me about this organization because being that my husband is one of the co-founders, I'm pretty entrenched in everything that's happening and what's, what's happening now and what's being planned for the future. Um, but what I can honestly say is that we have a group of people, Kevin and Dr. Brian Brown, um, and an amazing board that really puts all of their blood, sweat, and tears into strategizing, fundraising, and making sure that TSEP has the best opportunities available, and in a timely fashion for all of the students and families who can benefit from TSEP. So I'm really excited about the energy, the passion, the commitment, um, and just really the future. We are scaling as quickly as possible and just trying to make more um, opportunities available for students and families of color who can benefit from TSEP's resources. What would I say to people to get involved in this movement? Show up, be a voice. Be a voice for those who may not have a voice for themselves. And I'm speaking specifically of children who may not know how to navigate the inequities and the barriers to education in STEM. This includes not only parents, but teachers, all stakeholders who sit within the community of children who are underrepresented in STEM. So be a voice, also donate your money and your time because these opportunities are not free. They cost money, even for nonprofit organizations like TSEP. So get involved. And I would even add to that, be consistent. Be consistent with the way that you show up. So dedication is key.